So now we can actually take a cool little picture with this zebra. I think, no, I like this angle better. Yeah, I like that. Boom. Look at that. Now we got ourselves a new zebra and his name is Knight. Ooh, that was close. We almost fell there. Oh no! So I believe I'd say, let's go back to the zoo and let's see what we can actually upgrade. We are going to, we're not gonna upgrade the buffalo. We are gonna upgrade the zebra habitat. Hello everyone, welcome to Appercrap. My name is Andrew and today I'm showing you a pretty cool new game called Stampede. This app came out yesterday, which would be June 22nd, and I thought I'd show it to you guys. It seems to already be a fairly popular app, very simple gameplay, so I figured I'd show it to you guys. So basically the entire point is to hold in touch, jump up in the air, and then basically get onto another animal, typically a bull, or what seemed, I don't even know what it'd be, bison? something along those lines, and you basically, or any other animal, and you advance as far as you can throughout the game by meters. As you can see in the top left corner, I'm currently at one meter. Um, so yeah, there's not much to this game, but I figured I'd show it to you guys, because, um, I don't know, it seems like a very good game for leisure gameplay, so let's get on with the video. So as you can see here, I am holding, you can uh, pick the direction by that, and then you basically just tap down to not fly into a wall. Basically, again, the entire point is to jump from animal to animal. Currently, I have no clue if I'm gonna make this jump. Okay, I did. Okay, let's see if we can get this new zebra. No! Either way, you guys can see how this game can be kind of fun. You basically just advance through hopping onto other animals. When your animal gives you that exclamation point, it means that it's about to buck, um, and you don't want that. And I guess when you actually jump on these new animals, you want to stay on them for a certain amount of time so that you can train them. So as you can see, I just befriended a zebra. So now we can actually take a cool little picture with this zebra. I think, no, I like this animal better. Yeah, I like that. Boom. Look at that. Now we got ourselves a new zebra and his name is Knight. So basically, now we have this new animal, we get more coins, and then we can continue. So as you can see here, you now have different animals or buffaloes. So this one's actually a buffalo, my bad. And you can basically build a habitat and almost make your own zoo. So as you can see here, I now have a zoo and people are now entering and now I get paid. So it's pretty cool. Um, I guess we're gonna, oh, okay. Wow, I didn't even realize that. It's actually a floating zoo. So, tame one more animal, upgrade your buffalo habitat two more times. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to upgrade the buffalo habitat two more times. Uh, let's see here. We'll upgrade it one more time, but let's actually go ride and try to catch ourselves a new animal. Again, it seems kind of weird because we're out in the safari catching animals and then just putting them in a zoo. Seems quite harsh, but I don't think that's really what this app is going for. I think it's just meant to show, hey look, you have a zoo. And as you can see, the farther that you do advance, it does get slightly more difficult. Um, I do like the zebra because he's typically faster, and it seems like you can hang on to them for longer. There we go. I, think, I believe my record currently is about 700 meters. Let's see if we can beat it. And one thing that I do like is that you don't have to be terribly accurate to uh, get on to a new animal, which is very nice. As you can see here, we just got to 1,000 meters and the obstacles do get more and more difficult. Ooh, that was close. We almost fell there. Oh no! So as you can see, when you do run into another animal, you basically just fall off and you can no longer continue. So currently my record is 1,276 meters, and then I got to ride four buffaloes in one run. And yes, yeah, so my improvement was pretty far. So we're gonna retry it. Ooh, that was very close to running into that other buffalo. Come on, get the zebra, because the zebra's way better. So you also want to hit these crates because they actually give you coins, which is pretty nice. Um, so you do want to make sure that you do that. Help you expand your zoo, get farther in the game. That was very close. One thing that I do also like is like once you actually are physically on the buffalo, you go a lot faster, which is nice. Oh, oh what's this? Oh, we're gonna try to tame that. 
Oh, oh no. Oh no, I'm running out of room. I'm running out of room. Oh yay, now we got the forest buffalo. A little bit different of a buffalo. And right there. Boom. Tinkerbell. Out of all the names for a buffalo, you name it Tinkerbell. Either way, I do think that this is a pretty cool game. As you can see here, you do get to advance farther after you tame an animal. <gasps> can we get the elephant? Okay, I was close to getting the buffalo, or the uh, elephant. Sadly, I kind of missed. But... Oh my goodness, look at how far we're getting. Look at how far we're getting. Oh no! Okay, either way, you can see now my new high score is 1,000. 947. You can advance by paying 25 more coins or watching a video to keep on going. I'm not going to do that, but as you can see, I do get 50 coins for riding poor buffalo. So I believe that's it. Let's go back to the zoo and let's see what we can actually upgrade. We are going to... We're not going to upgrade the buffalo. We are going to upgrade the zebra habitat. And we're going to go back and we're going to open for business. Oh, so now we can pay 13 bucks. So we're going to open up the zoo see how much money we can make. We're going to make $65. And that's going to be enough for us to upgrade our buffalo habitat. So as you can see, now we have a new shade structure, which is pretty cool. So we're going to play one more round, and that's going to be the end of this video. Again, if you guys do like this video, or if you do like this app, the link will be down in the description. I think it's fun. Nice little leisure gameplay. You get to have your own little zoo, your own animals. And this round, we're going to try to get that elephant. If I die early, I do apologize. <laughs> It happens. Alright, we're gonna jump over this one and we're gonna land on that one. Come on, do you guys think we're gonna get the elephant? I feel like the elephant's gonna take a long time to tame. And as you can see right next to your thumb, it actually does show how long you have left to ride on the animal, which is a nice feature instead of just like kind of getting confused and forgetting where you were last. Okay, we're gonna get on this one. And we're gonna jump now. Get on this one. Still waiting to find that elephant. I don't know if we're gonna get it, but we're gonna try to. Come on, where's an elephant? Oh, I ran into a tree. Either way, at least we got the coins. This is gonna be the end of this video. I do highly recommend this app. It is a lot of fun, um, and it does give you lots of little treats here and there, basically. So as you can see, we do have our buffalo habitat, and we do have our zebra habitat. We can have a habitat for three other animals? Maybe just one other animal. But either way, I'm pretty sure they're going to keep on updating this game the farther that you get. And yeah, I believe that is it. So as you can see, we have to wait another eight minutes till the next cruise comes, so you can't just keep on racking up money. But either way, I do recommend this game. And so yeah, make sure to check it out. Link is in the description. And uh, thank you guys for the 400 subscribers. Until next time, this is at 4Crap.